okay, so it's been a while since I have done a video, and so um, I've gotten some stuff. This is actually a culmination of probably three or four hauls. So I'm gonna show you one of the things I'm most excited about, I've been looking for for a long time, and only because um, it's um, something from my childhood that, that are fond, fond memories. So I got some Blakely glasses. Now, I'm gonna tell you a story about the Blakely glasses. When I was a little girl, um, my grand, great grandparents, this is what we drank out of, were the, the Blakely glasses. Um, the story behind Blakely was in Arizona, they had a gas station called Blakely. And every time you filled your tank with gas, you got a free glass. And my dad would tell me he had these glasses rolling around in his back seat all the time. So therefore they were free glasses and that's why we were always drinking out of them. Um, I didn't know that, but I just remember my great grandparents and always drinking iced tea out of them and very, very fond memories. Now there's supposed to be eight, but I only have six. But in the future, I'm hoping, so I'll kind of show them to you. This one is the Saguaro. And these are not going to be re for resale. These are for my personal use. I've been looking for them. This is the barrel. I grew up in Arizona, um, so I know all these cactus very well. This is the Acatillo. Um, there's a pitcher that goes with them. They're supposed to be a serving uh, tray. Um, I, I don't know if I'll ever find those, but that's okay. To me, this is the organ pipe. And again, I know all of these cactus very well because I grew up with them, prickly pear. My mother used to take us out in the desert and we would actually pick the pears off the cactus and she would boil them down and de-skin them and make prickly pear jelly out of them. So yeah, and then this is the chola. I, I have to look because I'm not really sure which other two I'm missing, but I will eventually find those. Um, I paid $30 for these six glasses. Again, they're not for resale, so I was willing to pay more because um, for memory reasons. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna put you on hold for just a second because I wanna show you something else I got. Okay, so you all know that I'm, I'm a big hey, uh, Royal Hager fan, and um, I was having a day uh, last week that I didn't have a lot, I didn't have any extra money, and something kept telling me, go to Unique, go to Unique, and I'm, and I'm like, why am I gonna go to Unique? I don't even have any money to spend. So I am literally walking around I went ahead and went because, you know, follow your gut, always follow your gut. And I'm walking around the store and I found a few little things, nothing major, but, you know, okay. But this is not why I was, you know, the divine universe is telling me to come here. So almost the last shelf, I'm coming around the corner and whoa, there she is. The Royal Hager Naked Lady. Um, Arabesque is what she's called in a beautiful blue. Now they were asking $20 for her. Um, I have her listed right now for uh, starting bid at $175. Other people have them listed at $250. Um, if you uh, buy it now, buy it now, it's at $250. So, and I've gotten messages from people who think that it's okay to tell me that I'm asking too much. Um, but. In my opinion, if that's what everybody else is asking, I'm not gonna come in and lowball and say, oh, you know, you have the same thing, just a different color, so I'm, I'm gonna go a lot lower than you. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay competitive with the other people. So first of all, it's frustrating when somebody does that because then it lowers the value of it. So that being said, I'm really excited. It's on the market, it's on eBay now. Another Royal Hager piece I found is called Madonna and Child. I paid. $4.99 for this. The 99 cent sticker came off of something else I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this is Royal Hager also, and it's a planter. She's beautiful. And so I'll get her cleaned up and get her listed. I'll probably ask $45 for her. Um, okay, let me see what else. Oh, 
Tupperware. We all love our Tupperware. Now, my mother used to sell Tupperware. These two little pitchers, now I'm gonna show you how big they are. <laughs> they are tiny, tiny. They were used as demonstration to pass around when on the tables, but they are working pitchers and you literally can put cream in them, you can put any kind of sauce in them, but they're just adorable little, uh, and they're, oh, you know what? No, I'm sorry, they weren't. They were in the children's play sets. So the, 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 now that I remember, I just like, you know, the light bulb ah, just clicked. No, these were in the children's play sets. So um, these are, they had, they had children's sizes too. So these were in the children's play sets. I paid $4.99 for these. And then I got, um, see there's something else that I got that I paid $2.99 for. And I know I don't believe it may have been this that I paid $2.99 for. Now this is Czech, Czechoslovakian hand painted cup and saucer. And I am thinking that instead of selling this, I may send this to my my good friend Christina in uh, North Carolina because she does tea parties a lot. And um, I think that would go really good with her set. I also got speaking of tea. This is a Tivana for Life pit, uh, teapot. I paid $3.97 for this. It comes with the little thing inside. Um, beautiful piece, uh, cobalt blue. So that was a good find. And then um, I already had this piece, um, and I don't remember, long, I got it a long time ago. But then I found the little one, and I call my, my youngest grand darling Ladybug is that not cute i paid 99 cents for this they're planters so i've got one for the older grand grand darling and then i've got one for the younger grand darling so real excited about those and then fitz and floyd i paid five dollars for this salt and pepper shaker but they're halloween so i'll go ahead and get those listed right away because they're you know seasonal so i want to get those listed right away so i got the salt and pepper shaker from fitz and floyd uh, $5. I'll probably list them for $20 as a set, but is that not the cutest little set? <laughs> Ugliest little witch. Um, but yeah, I thought that was adorable. Um, I got a, another scarf, another silk scarf. This one is um, 1993 Concourse D'Elegance, D'Elegance, uh, Dallas. And it's got um, I paid $3.99 and it's got cars on it, like so all the old cars, um, all the sedans and the, from all the different eras, 1933 I believe that one is, and so really beautiful scarf. So if anybody's into old cars, that's going to be perfect for them. I got this for me, I paid $4.97 for this and I wanted, I wanted a salt candle, so um, I got that for me. Let me see what else. I got an, a roly-poly. Look how pretty this roly-poly is with the gold embossing on it. Um, haven't found a, a, a match to this pattern. Still looking, but it's as a single. I'll probably put it online for $12. Maybe less. Maybe eight. I don't know. I haven't decided. Another thing I got for me was a fajita skillet. This is Rachel Ray. Paid $4.99 for it. It's a cast iron, you know, with the uh, coating over it. And so I got that for me. Let me see. Oh, I got a sec set of these wood grain glasses. And these are all, and it's funny is you'll find if, if you can't, if people can't find the names of the glasses, like who made them, they call them mid-modern century. Well, they are MMC, they are MMC. But the, the problem is, is I don't know who made these. I think they're from Culver. Um, I looked them up. I found the low balls like this. And these are all eight ounce glasses. I got six of those. Another Mara Mexico mug. I'm really excited. These are handmade mugs. Aren't they beautiful? And the last one sold for $20. This one I paid $1.99. The last one I paid $1.99. The last one sold for $20. So this one I'll probably list for $20 as well. 
And I'm not into sports memorabilia, but this time I saw this laying there and I'm like, I'm gonna look him up. $1.99 for Charlie Moore. And he goes for pretty good money. I don't remember now exactly, but I'm thinking, okay, he's listed for good money. So I'll go ahead and I think it was like $25. Um, so I'll go ahead and get him and in the box and everything. So um, this adorable picture. Now, I don't know who made this picture. I can't find it. it it's just literally, um, it's a five inch. It's five inches tall. And this crystal, and it's so heavy, ice bucket is also five inches tall. And this is hand blown. It's got, got the bubble in the bottom. Um, I paid $3.99 for this, $2.99 for the pitcher, um, but you can see the bubble in the bottom. Um, so it's handmade and uh, I, I can't find it. And then I got this little, again, the gold the trim on these, these are, they are mid-modern century. They are from the, the 60s and um, 50s, 60s. Uh, paid 99 cents for this little parfait cup, but you know, it's just so pretty. I couldn't pass it up um, and then This little piece and I I'm so mad at myself because I chipped it um, but this little this little espresso cup um, I can't even begin to tell you how pretty this thing is and The plate I chipped the plate and it's Czech Czechoslovakian. I, that's a really hard word to say for me fine artwork um, and because I chipped the plate of course it devalues it um, I can use the plate as a in in some kind of um, mosaic piece that I may do I'm saving all my broken glass pieces for mosaics and then just sell the cup or I can list it as plate is chipped but if you need the cup you know here it is <laughs> Yes, baby oil, ladies and gentlemen, baby oil in a glass container. It was originally listed at Woolworths for 91 cents. Look at that. Still full, baby oil in its, in its container. Um, and, I, and honestly, I don't know what year. I'm guessing 60s. Oh, no, I think it says 59 on here. 1959. Yeah, so that's back when everything came in glass. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, and then a cast iron um, ashtray with a trivet. So you can put your glass on it and drink your coffee and smoke your cigarette. I paid $1.99. It's a Nisco. This isn't going for much, $12 or so. But um, it's, a, it's, it's a nice piece of history. So I got that. And my sister had gotten me years ago um one of these wine bottle openers and um it broke the this this piece actually broke and so when i saw this i i needed i didn't really need a new wine bottle opener but i loved it because it's just literally press it down and pull it out and it it opens no twisting or anything the whole set the only thing wrong with it is the um foil cutter one of the little wheels is missing but it'll still work um beautiful condition in the wood box so i got that again i got that for me just because it reminds me of my sister i paid 6.99 for this um, and then last i'm looking to make sure i got everything i don't want to miss anything um, last but not least, I did get a teak wooden canister set for $1.99 each for the two larger ones, 99 cents each for the two smaller ones. But, um, I, I mean, I found this amazing Goodwill and the prices were actually reasonable. They have liners in them and they're made in Japan, metal liners, really nice teak wooden canister set. So, so pretty. Now, of course, the wood, because they are older, the wood is a little bit, you know, rubbed off. It's not even scratched. None of them are scratched. The wood is just rubbed off. And so I'll probably list this set for 50 bucks um, easily. I think the smallest one is probably in worse condition um, as far as is the top coating rubbed off. But if somebody wants these, 
they can refinish them easily because um, there's no scratches on them. It's just, it literally is just rubbed off. So, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my find for this um, haul. And again, this was probably several hauls. I've had them sitting on my table because I wanted to get a big enough grouping because I've slowed way down on my shopping because um, sales have dropped and I have a room full of stuff I still need to list. And so I don't really need to. I just, it, if something hits me, the reason I went uh, shopping uh, the other day is only because I, I drove to the to the west suburbs to get these glasses uh, I, off of Facebook Marketplace. And I thought, well, while I'm over here, I'll go ahead and hit a couple of stores. And I hit two Goodwills and um, a little resale shop and I I the only I got the res at the resale shop was this at one goodwill I oh I, I I'm by the way I'm trying to get back into being a flight attendant so I have two group inter or two interviews coming up I have to fly to Houston on September 30th to interview with United and then uh, December 8th I mean I'm sorry October 8th October 1st is my interview with United and then October 8th is my interview with American. So I got a beautiful black dress and a black jacket to go over it um, for the interview. I paid $12 for these pieces that would have been well over $100 new and they look new, they're brand new and they look amazing. So I'm really excited about those. Anyway, back from when it was is my eBay shop and I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again next time.